Good morning. Oh, I'm enjoying this three hours of freedom in the morning. Out on a run. Say hello to the horse. Hello, there's the horse. Who's your good horsey? You? You're the good horsey. You're so pretty. Ooh, tasty flower. <laughs> What's up? Good morning. It is Monday morning today. Online classes are starting today because Tux has been <laughs> a bit behind the, uh, the trends. So we're only starting today with online classes. I uh, <sighs> went to bed at Hoppers 2 last night because I was busy working on EJS templating and my web development course and I just couldn't bring myself to wake up for my 7.30 uh, EMK microprocessors like information session when they're recording it and you can watch it later at any time. Uh, it's going to be hard in the next couple of weeks at yeah, Varsity Online to actually show up for class and that on time. Right, let's get started. First order of business is to eat this uh, poached egg and watch the lecture I just missed. Let's do this. Alright, alright. So it's quite a lot later now. I've just been uh, sorting out my calendar, sorting out my life, reading through all of the online forums and that for Varsity. And it doesn't seem so much as we're having online Varsity so much as we're just having self-study with the occasional connection to Varsity Online. And so yeah, I actually spent some time on my phone earlier just going through my to-do list and finally actually separating my to-do list into a personal list and a Varsity list uh, for work and that. So uh, basically what needs to happen every day uh, when it's due, things that are coming up soon, things that I want to get done. Uh, yeah, I've done this sort out calendar and figure out which lectures are online or recorded. Did that this morning. Today I see Thursday I got some maths due. I already got a class test for amplifiers next week, so I better get my ass into gear for that. Don't know how that's going to happen. But yeah, lots of stuff happening. I'm looking forward to it. Um, got my schedule on that in order, and lectures are, lectures are very different. This is not the semester we all expected, but interesting stuff. Let me actually get hard to work now. Talk to you later. Hey, what's up? It's quarter past 11 on the first day of varsity. Today was not the most productive day, as I have learned that <laughs> actually getting on board with online lectures and that when you don't have a set schedule is kind of difficult, and the opportunities for, pro pro for procrastination are many. And so I've set myself up a nice schedule for tomorrow, a nice little calendar that I'm hoping to follow, and hopefully work's going to go better tomorrow. And I actually got my head around what's happening in each module and each subject now. So I know what to expect. I know what I need to work on and what I really need to focus on. So I'm going to go to bed and wake up tomorrow and really work hard on amplifiers. So sleep well and I'll see you in the morning. Hey, what's up? It's like three minutes past three now. Just busy uh, working on my BSS project. I have a meeting with my group tomorrow where we're all putting together our individual parts and then working on the last part of the group project because it's due in like only like 15 days, still still two and a bit weeks, but we want to get it done as soon as possible so that we can work on other stuff. So I just got my uh, huge plan out here that I've been using to s set out and do some, you know, draft projects and that. And I'm busy putting it into the documents. So I'll show you when it's finished. Uh, good morning. Out on the road. Having a quick run. I uh, really hate running in the morning. Legs are cold. Mind is still half asleep, but good to be outside. Getting a head start on the day. And uh, gonna spend it mostly on microprocessors and whew, finishing up my project management part B project today. But yeah, love the day outside and see you later. What's up? So that was an awesome run. I feel really energetic and ready to tackle the work day. Uh, unfortunately, I'm no epidemiologist, but this is really starting to look like an exponential curve. Today, there's 7,572 confirmed cases of the virus in South Africa, and I know that it's delayed and it's not really the actual number of how many people have got it and that, and there's all kind of statistical biases in that, but that's certainly starting to look like an exponential curve to me, which is really depressing since we've really had so much lockdown and people need to go back to work and some businesses and that are opening already and you know I know they say we're only going to hit our peak in September and that this lockdown was just to prepare for 
uh, our exponential curve didn't really have a lot of chance of stopping it, stopping it at all. But yeah, it's just a little bit depressing to see that curve going up and up and up. But I'm going to try to focus on work today, try to be positive, and I'll talk to you now. Yeah, I like how I can see it. Awesome, man. That'll definitely contribute to the project a lot. So I just finished reading through Chapter 7, Sensors, Analog to Digital Converters, and Digital to Analog Converters. All the notes for that, so it went really well. 33 odd pages. Just been grafting here with Kate and Natalie, which is really nice. Making some notes. Good stuff. Time to go have a break and uh, drink some lovely tea. Good stuff, man. This is one of the only online lectures that I actually have live. The rest are all either just textbook notes or reading through at your own pace. So let's enjoy this. Even though I've already learned all of it by myself because this is maths. <laughs> okay, so those online lectures are going to be kind of useless to me since they moved really slowly. Uh, and I've actually done all that maths already, so I think I'm not going to go to them in future. I'm just going to watch the recordings afterwards and watch them at like... 5.7 speed or the, the highest speed I can find to put my video player on but yeah I've um, just been looking at my calendar and that now we've got our e, e practical due in two weeks time which sounds like a lot of time but considering I have no fucking clue what's going on in the module um, I'm grateful for that um, and I think the way I'm going to design my calendar from now on now that I'm halfway through what's, what's the day? What's the day today? Since it's Thursday today um, and near the end of the week I've had some experience with how these online classes are going to work and how my modules and syllabus is set up. I think I'm going to leave Thursdays entirely blocked off for maths and only maths. It's the only maths I'm going to do in the week is on Thursdays. Um, and then for the rest of the week, Monday I'm going to read through the notes for the week for amplifiers and for microprocessors and just really familiarize myself with the content in that, do as much graft as possible on that, really try and understand it. And then Tuesday and Wednesday set aside for um, exercises and the tutorials for both EMK and e, &E and really focusing on understanding what's actually happening and then on Friday, Saturday, Sunday work on the practicals for E&E &E and EMK. I think that's a really good delineation of work for myself and it's actually going to give some proper structure to my week because this week started off with me like not knowing what was going on and just trying to wrap my head around what's due for each module and yeah, project management, I'm just going to slot in whenever I can like in brief sessions like on a Friday to maybe finish the exam tests that we have to do now but it's not a big, big effort so gonna be fine. What are you doing on my chair, man? I'm out here busy talking to the world about how I'm trying to work and you're out here busy playing around. <laughs> how are your online classes going? Uh, as much as I've said, very optional. I <laughs> <laughs> feel dangerously optional. <laughs> the fact that your computer is off also speaks volumes it's to the amount. To oh, the man. amount. Ah, okay, there we go. There we go. What's this? Oh, just running my paper. That's German. Oh, nice. We learned food this week. <laughs> Tell us something about German in food. Tell us something about food in German. German in food. Food in German. Um, ich muss den uh, Kuchen und Tee. What does that mean? I would like cake and tea. Where's my cake and tea? <laughs> Where is that going to be applicable in real life? <laughs> At least some of my software design and that will be. <laughs> As you can see, it's super easy to procrastinate at home. How's work going, Mom? It's not yet. It's not. I feel that. That's a mood and a half. Anyway, I'm back to work. Teaching it. Hey, so I just wrote my uh, calculus class test for the day. It's good. Got 10 out of 10, full marks. And I'm going to do the differential equations one now before I go work out. Been a decent day of work and of maths. And uh, let me go finish it now so I can get a bit more productivity in tonight. And I just finished with another 100%. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Quite a few pages of work, but uh, all done. Let's go work out. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this lunging. Yes. Good stuff. So 
here just busy working on my BSS project management project. On Monday we're having a meeting to show off most of our project to the to each other, my group and I. So we just gotta talk through it. So I'm busy in Excel doing all the spreadsheets, doing cash flow analysis and um, NPV estimated scenarios and loan repayments and just everything that you might need to know about the finances of our imaginary business and so I'm just busy grafting through this. I need to go mop the floors now because uh, home chores are a thing. So let me get back to this. I am uh, a bit tired. And we are right back where we started. I am. Um, I think I'm going to end the vlog there. It's been a good first week of lectures. Been tough teaching myself all the stuff just about since Max has got some online video lectures and so does BSS project management but the rest is all just PDFs and self-study with the occasional contact on a text-based discussion forum and pick up so it's all self-study really but uh, we'll do our best got the extra time to work on stuff now and uh, catch you in the next vlog Thanks for watching, eh? Cheers.